hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Jazz, 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 jazz. <clears throat> I rock with you, jazz. I don't know if you're ready. I don't. I, 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 I'm trying to put it together in my mind. What can you do to avoid the- My brother started when y'all first stopped releasing on YouTube. It wasn't nothing dropping. I was in gold mode. I held the app down for so long, I could have uninstalled it. I'm a- I am. Trust me. I, 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 I am. But right now, it's looking like you're going to get all the smoke and take so many punches, the crowd gonna say, get off the road, believe he dying, a clean sweep, three piece, that's believe he dying. They say the alien sitting on bars, like E.T. riding, oh my goodness, for Jazz. Did you see him versus Ace I mean? Now mind you, Ace I mean had probably his career performance against Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying? It was, he had a lot of moments. I watched it again from the, from the, from the beginning of, damn, the battle when it dropped, the first round, the second round. I got a lot of thoughts on that and I'm gonna go over it with Showtime SP later. But that A side, I get those goosebumps every time. You clear my, like he went crazy. But Rum Nitty, <clears throat> somehow, some way, was able to come in there with three, three perfect rounds. Like, they don't, his material don't, Rum Nitty is, is, is a, the thing about him, he's a sneaky puncher because all of his material does not have to be catered to the opponent, but he'll throw like he have enough. It be, it's enough in there to make you feel like everything is about you. But he just has so many punches, and it's like the nigga said, "I held the app down so long, I could have uninstalled it." Like jazz, you the best thing for you to do. Might be to just not even show up. I mean, I fought with Geechee and them. I fought with the Riot and them. But this might, I don't know. He got seven days from when he finished to show up for you. And I have a strong belief that he's going to do it. Like, I, 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 at this point, I'm trying to help you. Because what are you going to do that the other folks ain't done? Now, I know you had a really good battle. When you battled against Kishi Gotti, you did good in the John versus Loso. Only thing that you have to your advantage is that you don't battle every week. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't battling every week. But it really don't, at this point, it really don't even matter. The nigga battling every other week, and he's still beating people. He's, he, like, the only thing in the ace battle that prevented ace to me from clearly getting the win, there's going to be people who's going to debate he won it. And I could debate he won it, too. Was the amount of water breaks... The, the stamina, like being able to finish, like him, <sighs> I'm tired of shit, I'm tired of shit, like, like, like that. When you're battling somebody who has cl three clean rounds, like cleanliness is godliness, he ain't missing a word, he ain't missing a beat, a lyric, a bar, he's got all of that, <sighs> all of the antics and pump action, the pump blasting, the ace bandages won't fit on ace, and they even hit his homie, stuff happened. It's like, wow, well, I'm, like, I'm like, nigga, what, what, these niggas, they might as well jump this nigga. They might as well jump. If them niggas would have jumped Ace, I mean, like, <laughs> if them Ace, I mean, and his niggas would have jumped Rub Nigga, I would not have been mad. At this point, some, you got to you gotta do something. You got to jump the nigga. What are you doing? I want to bring Rum Nitty to TV. I think Rum Nitty is possibly the baddest man in the land. Now, I know Easy has the machine behind him, and he's doing what he's doing on Chrome 23. He's been winning a lot of battles. But without any, without no additives, no preservatives, no major league, no nothing, just a battler that's battling, Rum Nitty is probably the baddest man in the land. I'd love to see them two battle. I seen Easy say that he liked to battle him. I'd like to see it, you know? It was to a point where they had loaded Lux on stage with no fucking opponent. Yo, let me, let me. Can I say this again? 
They brought out Loaded Lux with no opponent. It was major announcements and all this shit that was supposed to be going on. We got some old niggas that nobody knew from LOM and all these old ass niggas. And we got Murder Mook and Loaded Lux who didn't even say what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, Rum Nitty should be getting it. Who's Rum Nitty getting? That's going to be the biggest question moving. The, the, who's he getting next? And who's going to stop this? Because yes, Battle Rap has transitioned back to the small rooms. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not even a, a thing anymore. Matter of fact, this was just going to be a blog about the Rum Nitty and Jazz shit. But what I'm going to do is we're going to turn this into this week in battle rap. I'm just going to tell all the subjects that I've been thinking about and I've been hearing about, you know what I'm saying, um, it's going to go in this joint. You clearly had Av versus Rock, which is a phenomenal battle. T-Top and John John wasn't really that great, but the Av and Rock was a supreme war. We got the breakdown coming later with myself and Showtime SP, where he's going to break down round for round, bar for bar, and he's going to have his winner, and I'm going to have my winner too. Uh, and we got some things to talk about with the round times, like with the round times, do y'all, do the round times matter to y'all? Like if somebody spits a 10 minute round or a 15 minute round, like Avs first versus Rock was I did 10 minutes, like on the clock, like my watch did. It started at 13 minute mark, ended at damn near the 23 minute mark. That's a 10 minute round with reaction. That's a lot of material that you can get off. I don't know how much, how long the other rounds were. And I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying I'm saying something that's obvious. Like, this war happened, and these were the round times. You know what I'm saying? Just point it out. You can take it how you take it. Call it how you call it. I don't want to spoil it. Niggas already know what it is. All right, let's keep it moving. So, uh, Verb continues on his assault. But Jazz, yeah, you 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 might want to watch out for Rumney. This nigga's a madman right now, a fucking animal. And he's been going from person to person to person. And he ain't really been losing, you know what I'm saying? He battled Appa up there, I battled, then he left after that, and now he's battling against you, and he's got to battle again next week. Like, it's just every boom, 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 and it's, it's getting kind of crazy. I'm not going to hold you. Um, I'm very, I am very, very, I, I will be keeping my eye on that. I will, like, I will. Um, you got Max Out 3 coming. Uh, a lot of promotions been done. We spoke about it on Fox News the other day. Um, here's a clip. The clip! The clip! And then another thing I was going to say is on uh, the episodes, you know what I'm saying, um, a lot of the content we will be able to upload on Patreon. I don't really u upload the episodes on the news on this YouTube channel because they have a YouTube channel. They promote their own stuff. It's a business, you know what I'm saying? I can't take the, the whole the clip and put it on the same YouTube network, you know what I'm saying? That's not really, that's crunchy. So but I, I can take clips, but longer joints will be on Patreon if you rock with us, you know. You can subscribe to that too. It's not asking for a lot. It is support and it does help us do some of the things we're doing, like flying to Atlanta. We are going to Max Out this weekend, myself and Showtime SP. Um, <clears throat> a lot of promotion has been done. Uh, do I feel like it's pressure? I don't really feel like it's a lot of pressure per se because when I look at the, I don't, like, I look at big room versus small room, some of the madness, you know what I'm saying? It only had like two crazy joints that's going to get really replay value, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just me being a hundred, like, it is what it is. I would watch Ace I mean I watch Ace I mean versus uh Rum Nitty again. I watched Tay Rock versus Av like three, four times already. Uh I watched Jerry West more so for Jerry West and nothing else really struck me like that. I'm not I don't really have to watch John John versus T Top again, Shotgun Shook versus Fonz, no uh Diz versus Real Sick, I'll never watch that battle again. Twerk versus Hollow, Twerk did really good. Hollow Hollow's been his shit, like, he ain't really been clicking on a high level like that recently. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know he said he gets paid all of this crazy money, but you, them, that material is gonna have to start matching up. Your battles and shit, because you have a couple of close joints that close home with idiot, close home with Shine. You ain't really smoked nobody. I thought this was a prime opportunity for you to get busy. You know what I'm saying? You battled DNA, DNA smoked you. What we doing here, Hollows? You gonna be putting numbers on the board? You know what I'm saying? You can't be getting lost, 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 and we just be like, all right, you, you ease by somebody. Now it's like, oh, no, 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 nigga. You got to clear somebody. You have got to clear somebody, Hollow. You getting paid way too much to be not be clearing niggas and be having debatables and losing this shit. I'm just calling it like it is. I fuck with Hollow. I even got LOM clothing in my closet. I rock it all the time. But y'all know me. I'm going to call it like I call it so I can't sport it. I feel like Hollow the Don stock is not as high as it used to be. I'm not saying it's low, but it's definitely taking a hit like you ain't clearing nobody and you getting these big battles i need you to the next joint you got locking you got focus you got clips on uh Fonz versus shotgun suge suge had some moments <clears throat> in all of his rounds his second round was the most moments 
But the first round, it was... I don't know how long he had to prepare for this battle. I'm be honest with you. I feel like when Shotgun Shug is in his bag and he's really, really focused, I really don't know how long Shotgun Shug had to um, prepare for this because I could tell when I've been watching Shotgun Shug long enough. I've rocked with him. I've been good with him. You know what I'm saying? For some years, I had times when we wasn't good. But any issue that I ever had with a battle rapper is simply because of my opinion of a battle. So. I, who am I be to not say what I see? I'm never gonna change the way I call battles. I'm never gonna say, oh, nigga, you got smoke. That's just me. That's what I do. If you don't like the handle, there's a hundred other channels, but ain't no ribble in my dribble. I'm gonna keep it just like I do. So in the Fonz battle, I felt like he got cleared. Like he won this, he, he debatably won the second round. You could argue the second round for sure. He had more moments, but Fonz was more consistent through all three rounds. You cannot come to Summer Madness, have a choppy poppy first round. Your second round, you have some flashes. And in the third, you know what I'm saying? You're, you once People don't understand how valuable a round is, is what I'm saying. A lot of y'all be looking like, oh, if I lose the first, I'll just take the second and third. No, sometimes when you lose the first round, you lose the energy. Now you're fighting uphill all night. You're fighting, 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 constantly fighting uphill all night. These artists should know when y'all do good and y'all killing something, the fans are going to let you know. You don't have to put your own clips up. Whenever battlers have to put their own clips up after a battle on Summer Madness or something to that magnitude, it's probably you're trying to defend yourself against a narrative. You know what I'm saying? Who said I didn't do good and shit like that? And I get it. But when you are cooking, they are booking. The fans are going to put your clips up. I guarantee you Jerry West is not having to run around and prove that he beat DNA. He doesn't have to because he went crazy. And the, the clips are up. The clip! The clip! The clips are up. You don't have to look. All you have to do is put his name in Twitter. Them shit is going to pop right up. Boom, 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 boom. Shit, even I put one up. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I love Brooklyn. So I'm not even mad at what he did. But when you ain't, when you don't smoke somebody or clear somebody, trust me, they're going to let you know. You do not have to look far. They will let you know. Uh, that's another big stage battle that you know he didn't. You know he didn't clear her on. He did good in the, in the small room versus Verb. I'm putting something together now. Shuni not good big stage. Fonz not the greatest big stage. Verb phenomenal small room. I said earlier in this battle rap is starting to transition to small rooms and that's where most of the bars, that's where most of it is going to be effective, that's where most things are going to be heard. If you listen to Chris Unbiased's uh, Summer Madness recap, he, he, he touched on it a, a second in his joint too. I feel the same way. The best chance you have to get your shit off and for everybody to hear every single word, every single line is in small rooms. Big stages, the fans have become part of the act. Like, they are part of it now. It's like the 12th man in um, Seattle. When they start booing, they're part, they feel like they're part of the show. I heard Av say a, a pretty decent bar about the whole Carly Russell situation. Before the fans could even think if they were going to cheer for it or not, they're, Nick, somebody's booing. Boo! See, that's the reason why nobody ever took you seriously, bitch. He Carly Russell. See, fuck him. And that's the reason why no. They booing. You get audibly booed by big stages. It's happened on all leagues. I've seen people get booed on RBE at Max Out big stages. I've seen people get booed at UR. I'm not putting this on no specific league. But there's more hecklers and shit. In them small rooms, you can't, you, it's too obvious. Like, if you start booing all loud and acting wild, niggas is gonna be like, they gonna look at you like, fam, you right here. Like, you booing right there, you like right here. But in them big ass crowds, somebody get lost way, way back, they start yelling and heckling. You know, it is what it is. But um, one of the stars of the night was Jerry West. Jerry West got a 3 0 chant on DNA. Like, you know how hard that is? I don't care what nobody say. DNA was picked by a lot of people to win the battle, you know what I'm saying? I said from the beginning, I felt like Jerry West could win this because Jerry West, is he's a puncher, he's got charisma, he's got mad big stage antics where he can get the fucking sound. Don DeMarco, bang bang, shit like that, face for he can get all of the fucking sound effects, laser beams, light shows, he can get all of that. Trust me, he can. He does that on a, on a high level and on a consistent basis, and he's always got love for it. Does everything hit? No, everything don't hit. He do some shit sometimes. So I was like, ah, he could have left that. When he had the three niggas jumping, I ain't like that. Uh, he had a couple more that I didn't like, and I heard the uh, Mortal Kombat shit that he did. I was hearing that Benji Lolo was like, that was his shit first. So that's what I'm saying. When you do antics, you start running out of antics, and I, I would like for him to just be more so predicated and focused around beating niggas with the bars, because... Without some of the antics, he don't even need them shits to win. You know what I'm saying? But 
people are gonna attach that to him. Like that's the only way he can win is by bringing out toys and props and shit. That's what Verb was saying about him in the spaces yesterday. But uh, I'm happy that Jerry West is getting you know the, a real look, a real shot, and being able to do the shit that he needs to do because he's been nice for a while. But I just hope that URL don't play with his stock and have him sit around and wait, 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 like a lot of these other artists, not get the place that they deserve, and then you'll be here two years from now. Like, oh man, he's been on URL five years and he still ain't on. Now I understand Jerry West did have some looks, but we understand looks and we understand supreme looks. Like that that push that y'all was giving easy and some of these other niggas, he should Jerry West should have got that kind of push. The summer madnesses, the gnomes, the big stages. I understand it happens how it happens, so let's just hope that it, let's just hope that it happens at this point. And uh, it is what it is. Mike P, Jay the Nightwing, JC, all debuting on King of the Dot Blackout. What, what, what y'all niggas on over there? What y'all got going on, huh? What, what's poppin'? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What y'all cooking up over there, huh? Um, I am glad to see Jay the Nightwing back in the fold. I thought Jay the Nightwing was a talent. I do feel like, you know, he has some stumbles, some chokes in some of his battles and shit. But it was a, a lot of these people have, like, I want to really, really hone in on different um, aspects and events and things that happen in battle rap. Ace Amin said URL's had 88 events since 2021. You gotta realize some of them events was mad pushed, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was battling like every week and shit. Tournaments, battle every two weeks. That's where a lot of that stuff was encompassed at. A lot of these super fights, super fights, battle, 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 and that didn't help a lot of MCs. Jaden Nightwing was battling on a pre fr at a pretty frequent clip and then he started losing. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. When he came in, he was a good MC. Did I think he was the best out of his class? Mm, no, he was up there though. It was like a top two or three. He definitely was in the top guys. But then when you start battling more frequently and you start battling more microwave, instead of sitting down cooking your food, you microwave, microwave, microwave. You know, you get the microwave effect where, you know, after a while it burns out. And then Jay the Nightwing didn't really transition on those. When you are always starting to go from the COVID rooms, and the small shit back to the big stages. He was starting to translate on the big stage, but he never really like super, super like, I am ready for the big stage. And there's some people that's hand and glove made for the big stage. He's a block captain. He did it. Like he went from the small stage, went to the big room, bam, still transcended. Boom, battled against chess. Boom, battled against all these motherfuckers in these big rooms. And it was like, yo, we can't keep him as a second string quarterback. That's the reason why I had said originally that, yo, you got to treat different players different ways. I understand everybody could see what's going on with Easy that might have been on URL. It might have been like, yo, if you give him a YouTube drop, I need one. But listen, to keep that motherfucker on the roster, you should have gave him a YouTube drop. And if another nigga was mad, then do what he's doing. Give me the problem. Make it a problem. Do what he's doing. Go out there, kill shit, and force me to drop your shit. Force me to. I'm dropping his. I'm dropping two of them, actually. I'd have put that chest verse easy out so fast and told that nigga to sit his ass down. It wouldn't have been no Remy Ma. It wouldn't have been none of that shit. No, 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 no. All to the easy, M to the wizard. That, that, that partnership would have never happened. Give a nigga the drop. Fuck it. You done dropped the whole group of battles last week because you had to. I bet you ain't no more battles dropping. I bet you won't. Should have gave that nigga the YouTube drop. We was pressing it, bro. We was on that motherfucking internet. All the blogs, we were dropping shit. Give him a YouTube drop. Give him a drop. Niggas ain't give him no drop. Didn't give him a drop and created some ops. You didn't give him a drop and you made the nigga op. I would have, what? Tell that nigga tomorrow, hey man, you wanna come back, man? Fuck, we'll, we'll release you in chess, man. We gotta take this shit over, man. Fuck <laughs> Come on home. Drop his shit. Somebody should have made the call. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I do think things would have kind of been different with Shine and Easy still in the fold. But with Shine's situation, it's looking like, it's, if you ask me, it looks like it's heading more so towards K Shine having his own situation or throwing his own card or putting together. Because he was when he was interviewing with Uncle Rye, he was like, the guys that's with me, the, the guys that's with me, we got a plan, we got a plan. Now, I will say this. <clears throat> I rock with you, K Shine. I was the only person that do the media shit that you shouted out in your interview. I know you shouted out Waka, Mano, and then myself, which I was kind of surprised by. Um, and I appreciate it, but the only way to keep it a buck is I gotta be honest. I gotta, I gotta talk about shit from the objective perspective too. It's like, yo, if you do create your own situation, you do have to see how many motherfuckers been failing with that shit recently. The pay-per-views ain't been right. 
Uh, you know, King Bow shit, niggas the pay-per-view. We watch, we paying for the pay-per-view, but watching the shit on the nigga iPhone and all of that. So if you do, you just gotta hook up with some people that really know what they ruin your day. That's the gold standard. You, if, it, if it ain't ruining your day, I don't know. It's gonna have to be, it can't be no other way. It can't be my cousin got a fucking, he know a nigga who, who do pay-per-views for soccer and he got off on the weekend, so he gonna come run our shit. No, 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 no. We don't want to experiment. If we're going to experiment, let's do it for free. I don't want to do no experimentation shit, and we got to pay. You know what I'm saying? We got to pay. It got to be the way it is, because that's what's happening. A lot of these leagues is just popping out of nowhere. Oh, my first event, ass niggas, but you're still charging us. And we watching it in our streams and our Saturday. And when, I'm going to just do it like this. Whenever they be having these joints where niggas be having a league or be having some shit that's going on, like I think John John, uh, not a John John, uh, Mr. Fab, I think Mr. Fab is battling John John too in Oakland or some shit soon. I don't know what's up with John John battling all these old ass niggas. He battled Jay Mills. Now I guess he's about to battle Mr. Fab too. We don't, we don't care though. I, I'm just being honest. We really don't like. What is that? Why, how does that move the needle? I told y'all niggas, John John be cherry picking. That's a cherry picking move. Why you battling Mr. Fab? Don't get mad at me. I'm calling it like I call it. You're calling up, coming off a battle with T-Top that was probably one of the worst on the card. And now your next joint is Mr. Fab. <sighs> you can have that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. But shout out to my boy. Uh, keep it moving. Um, but yeah, so Jaden A-Wing is going over to King of the Die now. I think that could be something that's more catered to what he has going on and his style of lyrics. And the style is more consumable, you know what I'm saying? A more consumable style by their fans because it's two totally different fan base. I think Mike P is going to do well over there. Mike P has uh, Rosenberg Raw coming up on a trenches card, and then he's going to turn around and go battle on King of the Dot a couple weeks later. But I like the fact that these guys are getting employed and getting used and getting seen and being out there because it's not like at the end of the day, battle rap leagues, like you can go with this whole league for league for league shit, but at the end of the day, you gotta feed your family. It's about feeding your family, providing an opportunity. I don't look at shit from the perspective of this crew versus that crew versus this crew, and I'ma run up in the man, fuck all that. I'm here for battle rap. That's why I did, I'll cover some of Madness. I'll do the commentary for Max out. I'll be with Chrome. Like I'll fuck with every single league, even the uh, King of the Die shit. I would love to do the, uh, Blackout joint, I'm just not paying for a flight to fly to Toronto by myself. I don't feel like I should do that at this point in my career. So, I mean, when the leagues want to do some shit, Premier got some shit going on in the UK, all these guys, they're in a position because a lot of people want to see us be involved and help out with these leagues, but they got to do their part too, you know what I'm saying? It can't just be me digging in my pocket to fly all across the country. Yeah, no, 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 I watch it at home. I, it don't matter who you are, I watch it at home with no issue, but um, that's that. Uh, so moving along, um, does Max Out have, oh yeah, Mike P. Mike P is doing um, the King of the Dot card. Like I said, I do think that that will be more catered towards his style, and he should be able to get off on that too. Uh, lastly, it was does Max Out uh, have pressure? I don't really think it has pressure per se because small rooms deliver. Like, ARP took his time and avoided people that were saying that he should have did Max Out in the um, big room. You know what I'm saying? He was avoided. Motherfuckers was hitting him all the time. You know what I'm saying? They were saying that, yo, you bugging. You gonna turn away from doing Max Out in a big room? Like, y'all like, yo, you like, for real? Like, it was a lot of people that was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I was one of them. And he stuck to the small room vibe. And I think he's going with the pay-per-view numbers, you know what I'm saying, in correspondence to the end of building because a lot of people look at it like this. If they was gonna come anyway to the venue to see the joint, they definitely gonna watch the pay-per-view. So it's crazy how you can double market at the same time because you look at it like if they were going to come somewhere to watch it if they can't they're still gonna watch it from the crib because it's actually cheaper to watch it from home than it is to listen i'm gonna say this because we you know what i'm saying this is uh this week in battle rap we done dro dropped a bunch of subjects in here it is cheaper to see a battle rap event from the crib than it will ever be to go the flight the hotel, the rental car, eating for the weekend, bud, if you drink, travel, parking, your car, all of that is probably going to equal like a band. <sighs> Bron James, e quickly equal a thousand dollars, you know? I go to, if I go to an event and I fly myself, SP, and one of my dogs, you know what I'm saying, because I'm the, you know, heavy is the head. So if I'm the one that's flying everybody out there and all of that, you could go out and you could burn money like this, you know what I mean? But... If you watching it at the crib, man, you ain't got to do nothing but cop the pay-per-view. 
And if me and like two of my guys is copping it, yo, 20, 20, 20, let's make it wild. Or I cop the I cop the pay-per-view, you cop the food, he do something else, and everybody just chill, y'all watch, y'all vibe, and it works like that. So listen, if you're not there, you're not. If you're not there, yeah, you're gonna miss out on the in the building experience and shit like that. But at the same time, you're gonna be entertained. We will do commentary before. I will go live after to do the live stream. I'll probably try, I'll try to be live in that hole. I'll prop my motherfucking phone up, but we do that bitch right there, nigga. Um, we will have some behind the scenes shit that's gonna go to the Patreon. Salute to the folks that's on there too. And it is what it is, man. Uh, let me think. Is there any more? Is there any more? Is there any more? Um, finally, oh, the last thing. <laughs> disaster, bro. Disaster, disaster. I found out that Disaster's battle with Real Sick was booked after he battled Easy. Bro, that was like a week or so. You like <laughs> that you ain't even had no time to prepare. So what you did, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you went out like that when you did not have no time to prepare. Like that was like a week. And then during that whole week, you was going back and forth with Easy every fucking day. I remember it. It was going back and forth every day. I said, damn. Does this nigga have his rounds together? I knew in my mind, I was like, yeah, he gonna just, he gonna freestyle, he gonna get booed, he gonna talk shit, and he gonna be out of there. You did, you checked off all of those on my bingo card. I didn't know you was gonna go with saying nigga in front of everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, you know there's people that's saying, they looking at it from the perspective of, he didn't say it to people, he just said what he went through. Can he not speak about the things that he went through? Or is he allowed to do do? Listen, I ain't the nigga that's getting all technical. I don't want to get all technical on what you should do, 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 do. I know that the internet wasn't feeling it. You said it, but you said it and you stood on it. And ain't nobody do nothing. They was all sitting right there. Everybody stood on stage and was reacting to this shit. So you got off on them. It is what it is. They, what are they going to do? You'll be, whenever you want to throw another car, you're going to throw another one. Nobody going to do shit about it. So that's just what it was. Um... A scale of one to ten for summer man, it's probably like a six, man. I see people saying five, six and a half. You know, uh, you get Av versus Rock was a phenomenal battle. Rum Nitty versus um, Ace I mean was a phenomenal battle. That's two good battles on the card. Uh, everything else was either one person did really good and the other person lost, or the battle just wasn't good. I just call it like I call it, so I can't spoil it. Uh, shout out to every single person that watches this shit, whether religiously or in passing. I know y'all got a lot going on, but uh, I appreciate y'all. Yeah.